Hi, welcome back. This is the PSLE Math 2025, Math Made Easy, and this is the equilateral triangle question in the PSLE. All right, now this question is based, uh, the information of this question is based on student recall, so it may not be exact or even totally correct. So if there's anything that's wrong, do let me know and uh, we can work on that. But for now, based on this information, let's answer the question. So the keywords in this question is the word equilateral triangle. So what is an equilateral triangle? An equilateral triangle, as the word equi here says, the word equi means equal. So equilateral means equal sided triangles. That means that this side is equal to this, is equal to this, is equal to this, and all the sides are equal. Okay. Now, um, in order not to, you know, dirty the diagram, I'm just going to remove this, understand that the sides are equal. And the question is asking for the length of AB. Okay. Now the length of AB is this, and this is actually the same as finding this, or the same as finding this, or the same as finding this. Okay. These are all equal. So where do we begin? Well, the first thing we want to understand is that for diagrams, the movement of two equilateral triangles, perhaps I can illustrate this. Okay, maybe I just copy these two triangles. This one. Okay. Okay, so imagine these two equilater equilateral triangles, right? And if they are identical, then it means that I can overlap them directly. So right now, I should be able to overlap this directly. Now, if they are the same and I shift them a little bit, okay, let's say this much, then the distance that I shifted this triangle to the right, which is this amount, is equivalent to this part because the shift is the same on both sides, right? When you shift one side, the other side shifts by the same amount. So keeping this in mind, okay, this shifting concept, if we go back to our original diagram, then we know that um, if this is 18, okay, and maybe I will highlight this with a different color for you to understand. If this is 18, then so is this. Okay, this red color portion would also be 18. They are the same. Because effectively, I'm taking this triangle, which started over here, and I shifted it so that it came over here. So the amount that I shifted here is the same as the amount that's here, based on how I've explained it to you just now. So if this is 18, then this would be how much? The answer is 15, right? Because if this is 18, then this has to be 15. Okay, so far, are you able to follow? Okay, so if at any point, right, you're not able to follow, you can always pause this recording and then uh, watch this part again. So if this is, uh, if this is 15, right, this portion, and this is 41. If I now take 41, okay, let me shade that with a different color again, just to be very clear. Okay, let's say I shade it using this. Okay, so this portion would be 15. Okay, maybe a thinner line. Okay, this portion is 15, and this long line below is 41. So if I took the 41 and I subtracted the 15, I should be able to get the distance from here to the end. Okay, I'm going to just take this and move this up. Okay, I'm going to be able to find this part. And if you look carefully, this happens to be the side of one triangle. Okay. This is exactly from one side of the triangle to the other side. This is one line. So if I take 41 minus 15, okay, if I take 41 minus 15, I'll be getting this. And the answer for that is 26. Therefore, the answer to this question is 26. Why is that? 
Well, if this is 26 and these are all equilateral triangles, then this should also be the same length. And since the question is, what is the length of AB? Then I've already answered the question and the answer is 26. Okay, so right now I'm going to write out the steps that we have talked about to get the answer for AB. And the steps will start with the writing of this 18 centimeters and this also being 18. And since this is 3, I will be able to find the 15 over here. Okay, because this is 18 and this is 3. So if I take this minus this, I should get the 15 over here. That's the first thing I'm going to write. Uh, it will be 18 cm minus 3, which is given to get 15 centimeters. So now, the next thing that we did was we took the 41 centimeters, which is the given value over here. We subtracted away the 15, and that allowed us to find this portion, right? Which is 26, which was the answer to the question, because the first question was how much is AB, which is one side of the equilateral triangle. So now, I'm going to take 41 and minus away the 15, the purple minus the blue, and that gave me 26. And so the answer for the first part of the question, A, would be 26. So AB equals to 26 centimeters. All right, so there's a second part to the question, which is to find the perimeter of the shaded part. Now, the perimeter of the shaded part includes this portion and this portion. Okay, now, the problem is that you cannot possibly find this on its own because you do not know what is the value here. So if you do not know what the value is over here, although you can find it, but that will be very long, it is actually easier, just a moment, it is actually easier if you take this line, which you need to include, and transfer it over here. So if you can take this line over here and shift this over here, it would form one side of the equilateral triangle. Now, if you did the same thing on the other side, which, is, which means that you take this one and you shift it over here, then this line also becomes complete. Okay? Of course, that means that right now we are not going to include this in our calculation anymore, we will instead take it as an entire line like this. Okay? Likewise, we are not going to include this in our calculation, but instead to treat this as an entire line. So which are the lines that we are going to include? Okay? I'm going to highlight all the lines that needs to be included to show you what we are going to do next. Alright? So this is what we are going to do. We are going to take this plus this, since we have already shifted that over, plus this, plus this, and that would give us four sides of the equilateral triangles, right? Now, for the bottom portion, we cannot calculate the whole thing here because this part is not shaded. So, we are only going to add instead 18, and 20, sorry, and this portion to get the answer to the perimeter. Okay, how much is this portion over here? Okay, this portion over here, we know that this is 26, and we know that this is 3. So if we take 26 minus 3, that will give us the value that we need for this part which is part of the perimeter. Okay, I'm going to write that down as a step. So for part B, to find the perimeter, I will take 26 minus 3 to get 23 cm. Okay, you should always write every step that is needed in a question. Okay, now just to recap, to find the perimeter, I'm going to calculate this pink line, this pink line, that's two, two straight lines, three straight, straight lines, four straight lines, plus 18, plus 26, and that will give me the perimeter of this shaded part. So the perimeter would be 26 times 4, because there are four sides of the equilateral, 
each side being 26, and then plus 18, which is from here, and then also plus 23, which is from over here. Okay, so if you calculate this, 26 times 4, and then you add this to 18 plus 23, that will give us 145. So the perimeter of this figure is 145 centimeters in total. Okay, did you get this answer? If you did, awesome. If you didn't, well, it doesn't matter. It's just one question. I'm sure you did fine for the others, right? So if you found this video useful, give me a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment in the section. If you have any questions other than this, please send it to me. And to watch videos from previous years, if you are in your P5 or P4, then go ahead and watch my other playlist. Subscribe to the channel so that you can be uh, notified of new videos. I'll see you in my next video. Okay, bye-bye.